Hi, my name is Tammy Miller. In this video, we are going to compare E1 versus E2 nucleophiles. When comparing E1 and E2 nucleophiles, we need to think about the reaction mechanism itself. So we're going to start off with an E1 reaction and look at the nucleophiles. In an E1 reaction, we do not require a strong base to proceed or to deprotonate that substrate. The reason for this is because the E1 substrates create very stable carbocation intermediates. These carbocation intermediates are stable, but they are also very reactive. Because of this high reactivity, any base that they come across can attack and deprotonate that substrate. This is why we do not need to have a strong base to proceed. E2 reactions, on the other hand, require a very strong base to proceed. The reason for this is that E2 reactions do not proceed through a carbocation intermediate. They are not stable that way. The only way to get the leaving group to leave is to have a very strong base. This very strong base will deprotonate the substrate, which forces the leaving group to leave so that we can have our elimination. If we have a large bulky base, we can increase the likelihood of an E2 reaction over an SN2 reaction. And this is because the large bulky base does not have the ability to get in and do a backside attack. Therefore, it's going to increase the elimination instead of the substitution. There are times in organic chemistry where we will get different situations that we need to look at and we need to determine what reaction is going to proceed. Let's look at a couple of these situations. The first one, a scientist will be completing two elimination reactions. She has two bases to choose from in her cabinet. First, she is going to choose methanol. Which elimination mechanism will result from this base and why? So I have to start off by thinking about methanol as a nucleophile, as a base. When I look at methanol, what I see is I do have an oxygen here. And I do have this OH, which means that it is a base. However, I know that this is an alcohol. And even though it's got two lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen, it is actually a very weak base. Because this is a weak base, it cannot proceed through an E2 mechanism because that requires a very strong base. So when I look at this, I know that this is going to proceed through an E1 mechanism where I will make a stable carbocation intermediate and that stable carbocation intermediate can then be attacked by the weak base, methanol. So this is our first base that our scientist has to choose from. Let's take a look at our second base. Our second base says, next she chooses potassium tert-butte oxide as her base. Which elimination mechanism will result from this base and why? So I need to think about potassium tert-butte oxide. When I look at that, I am not sure what it looks like. I know it's going to be big because it's got three methyl groups on it. So I always want to draw it out. When I look at this, what I see is a very large molecule. So this is large and this is bulky. Now, also when I look at it, I have three lone pairs of electrons that are around that oxygen, making it have a negative charge making it a very, very strong base. When we look at the potassium here, this is just telling us it's a salt and a potassium ion will follow it around. But when I look at the main part of this molecule, the actual base itself, I see something that is very large. I see something that is very bulky 
And I also, because of the three lone pairs of electrons, I actually see a very strong base. Well, strong bases, I know, are necessary for E2 reactions. I also understand that if I have a large bulky base, I have a higher likelihood of having an E2 reaction. Because of these two facts, I know that my scientist is going to be running an E2 reaction. This is the elimination mechanism that will result. We always need to be thinking about what is going on in a mechanism to understand what nucleophile is necessary to attack that substrate and to make this mechanism occur the way that we want it to occur. Understanding these pieces is one of the keys to organic chemistry.